Hello! On today's episode, we'll be making corned beef brisket as used in corned beef Reuben or corned beef with cabbage. Start by taking a deep stock pot and place the brisket in the pot. Some prepackaged briskets come with flavor packs already. If not, you can make your own, which I'll go over in a moment. So you add water and you want to submerge the brisket up in about at least a half an inch under the water. As far as the flavoring goes, I like to do one to two bay leaves per brisket. Then you can add several peppercorns, uh, black peppercorns that is, to your desired heat level. Mostly flavor, doesn't really get too hot. Um, salt really isn't needed because the meat is already salty due to the um, pickling or corning process as they call it. But you can add a little bit if you like. Then you like to add uh, coriander and mustard seeds, which makes an excellent Reuben. Now you can also add things like oregano and red pepper flakes. And some re recipes vary, but I also like to add some fresh garlics in, which is optional. But I like the garlic flavor in mine. So you bring it to a boil, and once it boils, you cover it and then you lower it down to simmer. And then you let it simmer for about usually about an hour per pound typically. Um, I find that if you let it sit for four or five hours, it makes a super tender brisket. This is one of those things where the lower and slower you go, the more tender the meat becomes. After just a couple hours, I flip them over and you can tell they're still kind of hard, but they're starting to get tender. So we just keep going with it, be patient, because it's well worth it. Now here I added some potatoes, which will absorb some flavor and go great as a side dish to your Reuben sandwich. Once again, this is purely optional. You don't have to do this. It's just you can make a make a meal out of it instead of a, just a lunch. And then we are taking the brisket out to test it, and look how tender it has become. Using a sharp knife. I would begin to remove the excess fat and take some slices. And it is so tender that it's just like falling apart. Sometimes, I mean, I was too excited, of course. I wanted to taste it right away. But typically, you want to let it cool down so that the meat stiffens up enough to cut it. Also, if you're not eating it right away, sometimes it's good to cool in the refrigerator after it's naturally cooled down so that when it's cold, it cuts, you can cut real thin paper thin slices. But because I was eating it right there with my family, I decided to just start cutting it up. And boy, was it delicious. So, in closing, don't be afraid to make corned beef brisket homemade because it is easy. And here I am enjoying it with coleslaw, but really my favorite is with sauerkraut. And a little bit of uh, provolone cheese and you know, Thousand Island or Russian dressing, whatever you call it. Thank you for watching and subscribing to Living the Good Life Now. Be sure to check out my Culinary Creations playlist for more recipes and how-tos.